Good evening. Are you with me? Anybody alive out there? Anybody in a fighting spirit out there? Anybody ready for elections out there? We have to fight. I hear people saying it's difficult. Hey, when has it ever been easy? It's never been easy. And by the way, it wouldn't be fun if it were easy. It has to be difficult because that brings the best out in us. Do we believe in Europe? I believe in Europe. Do we believe in a future that is better than today? I believe in it. Do we want to fight to make this Europe better for our children than it is today? Yes, we do. Do you? How will we do this? We've heard many interesting contributions just now. Let me pick up a few things. I can feel that something's changing all across Europe in our societies. I can feel that people are sick and tired of austerity politics. I can feel that people are coming out, getting together, going into the streets and saying they want things to change. I can feel this is happening right now. I am proud when I see my own kids and other school children in Belgium going out into the streets and saying, guys, you need to do something about climate change. I can feel the energy coming out of the workforce all across Europe who are saying, hey, we want fair salaries. So my friends, it's time. It's time that we created a minimum wage in every single member state of the European Union. It's time. It's time that we came up with a plan, European Commission. It is time that we give de uh, decent salaries and decent protection to all those young people who now have zero hour contracts, who ride a bike with a rucksack on their back with Deliveroo written on it, and they are not be they're being told they're entrepreneurs. They are not. They deserve a decent salary. It is time that we put an end to all this talk about rewriting history. Let all these right-wingers who believe they need to instrumentalize history for their own political gains, let them rewrite history. We, my friends, are going to write the future. And our future will be progressive. Our future will be based on solidarity. Our future will be based on a Europe where we take people's individual rights seriously. Our future will be based on the fight against discrimination, the fight against homophobia, the fight against uh, xenophobia. We will not want to live in a Europe where we don't trust the persons next door. We want to live in a Europe where we see somebody who's different as an opportunity to work together to create a better society. I have been coming to this country since the 90, late 1970s. I have seen the change. I have seen this great nation develop into something which is a pearl in the crown of Europe. This is the crossroads where three great European cultures have been meeting for centuries and centuries. This is where the Germanic, the Slavonic and the Latin world meet and interact without confrontation, on the basis of friendship. Yes, we know that some parts of our history were bloody. That's exactly the reason why we don't want ever to go back there and we want to work on a Europe which is based on borderless Europe, on a Europe where we found a society on solidarity, on working together with others. So now I have a question for you. I have a question to all of you. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Then let's go out there and for two months campaign, convince everyone that it is in their interest to go and vote in the European elections, to make sure that there is a progressive majority in the European Parliament so that we create a Europe that is fairer, 
that is stronger, that is better, that stands up for our values, that makes our children dream again, that takes poverty and throws it out, that makes sure that all of us can profit from a Europe that is stronger, fairer and free. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Thank you.